I'm in Hyde Park, Sydney, Australia. It's a beautiful spring day. All right, DP203, let's go. All right, welcome, DP203. So here is my badge right here. Um, always put everything on your LinkedIn because people will find it. You can see here it's already had 45 uh, reactions, 45 likes. I've also gave a little bit of a description here in the post, so please go and read that. Always put the credential ID as well so people know you're for real. So also please come to my LinkedIn and connect with me. Um, you follow me or connect with me. Uh, if you're watching this, you're exactly the type of person that I want to be connected with. So please come and say hello. Just make sure you say that you watched this video and that's why you're connecting. All right, the other thing I want to quickly show you before we go over the exam is I've put together the test prep questions that I studied with. So if you've got no money or you're trying to save money, I've put together my own test prep questions. Here are the questions here. I haven't published them yet. They will be published by the time you see this. It's just a PDF with tons of questions that I studied with. To get the PDF, just go to the description in the video and there'll be a link and just download the PDF from the link. All right, Azure Data Engineer DP203. So this is an absolute doozy of an exam. When I, when I say doozy, I mean it's, <laughs> for me it was difficult. So there's a lot of things in it. Um, you've got Data Factory, tons of Synapse questions, Stream Analytics, Event Hubs, Databricks, Data Lake Storage, SQL, and a little bit of Scala. Let's just have a look at the actual Microsoft page. So go and have a look through the official Microsoft page. One thing you, you will notice is they do have um, their own training and preparation here. I didn't actually do it. I don't really like the Microsoft training. I find it too boring. Uh, and I find that it's usually too elementary for the actual exam. So you go through it and you think, oh, wow, this is easy. And then you do the test prep questions and it's got nothing to do with the training. But anyway, don't let me put you off. You should probably still go through it all. At least give it a try. It's all here. So obviously it's 165 US. It's not cheap. So you want to make sure that you're passing on the first attempt. So everybody has a different skill level when they're starting to study for this exam. I had about two years of on and off experience with Azure with many of those platforms. Many of you have much, much more experience than me when I did it. So you'll have to study less. If you have very little experience, you really want to be studying a lot more than what I studied. So on average, I did about three hours a day of study over 30 days. So I did about 90 hours in total. And I ended up getting 892 out of a thousand. So I ended up passing fairly easily. So how did I study? So I did the Udemy course by Alan Rodriguez. Um, just search for DP203 and his name and you'll find it. Uh, it's 21 hours long and it's completely been updated. Only, I think, recently over the last month or last few months. It's a very good course. I definitely recommend it. Um, the only issue is that it's just not nearly enough to actually pass the exam. Um, it's sort of an introduction to all of those services. Uh, and he, do he does cover the topics of the exam. It's just that the exam has a lot of intricate and very specific questions that in fairness to him, just no, <laughs> no course can really cover it all. All you can do is you, do you go through the course, you will learn a lot. And then after that, you need to go through all the test preps. Now the test prep I did is measure up. The first time I did it, I got about 60%, correct? So I would have failed the exam if I didn't go through test preparation questions. Uh, then I kept going through the exam over a week or so and continually focusing on my problem areas, then going in depth into my problem areas, going into YouTube, going into reading the documentation until I really sorted it out and could really understand my problem areas. Let's have a look at those now. So here is the Udemy course that I did. Again, it's very good. I definitely recommend it. It's got a high rating, 4.5. 8,000 people have left ratings and 54,000 people have done it. So it's definitely good. I definitely recommend it. But just as I said, you're, you're going to need to do more test preparation on top of this, all right? It's not enough. Here's the test prep that I did. It's, it's not cheap, but I had to pay for it. So again, the key to doing any test prep is taking note of all of the questions you get wrong and then going to the internet and watching videos, reading documentation, you really have to go into depth. You really have to understand it properly. 
and then in the exam it's just going to come to you when the time comes the other thing I recommend is I always go to Reddit. I'm a big fan of Reddit. So you just type in the exam name and type in Reddit in Google and then you're just gonna get a list of all of the entries in Reddit about that exam. And people will write about their experiences. They'll give you tips. They'll show you other things that you can do, other places where you can get resources. The only other tip I would give you about Reddit is make sure you concentrate on the recent posts don't go reading about the exam you know from posts that are two years ago because the exams do get updated all right let's talk about some topics and the test prep questions and the actual exam are just full of these questions so you need to know everything there is to know about parquet files because that is the main type of file really that you're going to be using you need to understand the compression options when to use parquet how to move them around just really go in depth on parquet files you need to know everything about Data Lake Gen 2 storage. This is really the main storage type for a lot of these services. It's not difficult, but you just need to know everything about it. So go in depth on that. So you need to know this. Um, there's the, you'll definitely get questions on it. So slowly changing dimension tables or SCDs. So there are many types. The main types you will get in the exam are the type two and type three. Um, type 2 is the most common, I believe. Um, type 3 is also out there in the world. But I did notice in test preparation questions, I did get questions on type 0 and type 1 as well. So please go and Google that. If you, if you don't know what it is, go and Google it and read about it and um, study it. It's not difficult once you look at it. Um, it's just about how to handle changes in data in dimension tables. So in other words, if someone changes their name, let's say someone gets married and changes their surname. So you need to have a record of the original surname and you need to have a record of their new surname. So these slowly changing dimension tables gives you options on how to handle that. Like, do you actually just copy over the surname? Do you keep a copy of the surname? Do you put it in a new row? Do you put it in a new column? Do you have a flag column to say what is the most current version of the surname? So that's what that means, the slowly changing dimension table. So you really need to know your fact and dimension tables. This is really elementary for a data engineer, but um, just make sure you're on it. I got several questions on that. So Synapse is the main service that you're going to get a lot of questions on. I'd say probably, honestly, half of the questions were on Synapse. So yeah, main thing, you definitely need to know about the Synapse distributions. So this is about how data is stored in the, you know, there are 60 distributions. I mean, six, literally 60 physical databases that a data warehouse is stored on. And you have to decide the different way it's going to be stored. Is it, are you going to use a hash function? Are you going to use a replicated tables? Are you going to use round robin tables? Basically hash tables are used for fact tables. Replicated tables are used for dimension tables and round robin is used for staging, staging data. But there are exceptions, so you'll need to go into depth and really study that, really get it in your head. You'll need to understand Synapse partitions. So on what column to partition data and things like the minimums, there are recommended minimums of how many rows you would have before you would even consider partitioning. It's 1 million rows, by the way, but it, it's also to do with the distributions. So don't forget there are 60 distributions. So you could say 60 million rows. Generally, you partition on the date column, but there are exceptions as well. So go into depth on that as well. You need to understand the indexes, which index to use and why. And you, you'll need to understand all of the security options for your resources. So this is talking about shared access signatures, keys, managed identities. You're going to have to know all of that. All right, let's move on. So some final tips. This is important. Whatever test prep you do, make sure you're getting close to 100% in the test prep before you attempt the exam. I was getting 100% in all of my test preps and I got 892. So yeah, I got more than 10% less than what I was scoring before I started the exam. So if you're scoring 80, you may not pass the exam when you actually go to sit it. Just make sure you're getting 100%. Again, spend some time on Reddit, reading other people's experiences. I've already showed you that. One thing I did is when I was doing the Udemy course and also doing the test preps, I always had Azure open. Um, I created actually a new account and because I wanted to get the free, you get free credits for the first month. 
Uh, you get free credits for a year, but the first month you get more. So just make sure you go and open a new account. And I didn't actually have to pay any money for it because whatever I used, it was under whatever limit they had. But go to Azure, open up a new account and start all these services. This is important. If you don't feel that you're ready to pass the exam, just reschedule it. So one other strategy I normally do is I book the exam in advance. So when I had the idea that I was going to sit this exam, I just booked it. I booked it actually for six weeks in advance. I thought that was more than enough time, um, depending because I'm working as well. Um, but in the end, I actually changed it and I changed it to just four weeks. So I spent four weeks. Yeah, so just organize your time. Again, I needed three hours a day for four weeks. Uh, it really depends on your skill level where you're at at the moment. Now, this one's really important. When you're in the exam, the thing I find with Microsoft exams is some of them are really wordy. Like there are paragraphs and paragraphs that you have to read through, especially in the case studies. So I'm not really good at that. I don't really like doing that. So what I found works really well is read the answer options first. So just go straight to the question, read the answers, because a lot of the times it's multiple choice. There's just four or five options. Read the answers, then read the actual question, and then go into the case study and read the case study. And the answers will pop right out at you if you already know what they're asking. What I used to do is I used to read the case study first, which sounds logical, and then you get to the question and you read the answers and then you have to go and read the whole case study again. So this works for me. You read the answers first, read the question, and then go and read the case study. Again, that works for me. You need to find out what works for you. So that's really it for the, uh, for the rundown. So guys, I really wish you luck with this exam. I think it's really worth doing. Uh, there is massive demand for data engineers. Again, please go and connect with me on LinkedIn. Just mention that you've watched this video. And yeah, make sure you download those test prep questions. Just go to the description in YouTube and download them. That's what I studied with. Okay, my friends, good luck.